evolution. These buds are going through evolution. Open them capillaries up. Feeling so spastic, my cheeks are flushed. Hey guys, and welcome to Stellara Craft. I'm Stellara, and today we are going to be making this chocolate whiskey Chewbacca cake. I made this recently for a birthday party, and it went over so well that I just had to show you guys. So first things first, take a parchment-lined cake pan and dust it with some cocoa powder, and then set that aside for later. And then we'll prep our hot ingredients. So first, we're going to need some strong brewed coffee. Now, this doesn't make the cake come out overly coffee-flavored, but it does help to deepen the chocolate flavor, so I highly recommend you try it. Add your coffee to your butter, and then also add your whiskey of choice. And then we're going to add some cocoa powder to the hot mixture as well and take it over to the stove. Heat on medium low until your butter and cocoa powder are dissolved and then add your white sugar and your brown sugar and stir until everything is completely dissolved. And once everything is completely dissolved, we're going to set this aside until it reaches room temperature. In the meantime, let's go ahead and prep our dry ingredients. We're going to start off with some flour. And then we're going to add to that baking soda and salt. And then we're going to give it a good whisk just to break up any clumps. And now we're going to prep the rest of our ingredients for our cake. We're going to start off with three eggs and just crack those into a mixing bowl. And then you're going to add your vanilla extract. And we're going to beat those together just long enough for the everything to combine. We're going to break the yolks and mix the egg whites in. We don't want to overmix here. We're basically just making sure everything's well combined. Once those are good and mixed up, we're going to add our chocolate whiskey mix. Now, it's very important that we make sure this is room temperature here. If not, you're going to end up scrambling your eggs and it's not going to be very fun. So go ahead and add those a little bit at a time and then we're going to add all of our dry ingredients. And just give that a good mixing until everything is combined and smooth. And while your batter is mixing away, now is a good time to go ahead and grab some chocolate chips. And then we are just going to use a spatula and we're going to fold that right into our batter. Now go ahead and grab that cocoa lined cake pan and pour your batter right on in. Then you're going to go ahead and bake this for about 45 to 55 minutes. I advise starting on the low side and then using the toothpick check. When your toothpick comes out of the cake clean, you know it's ready. When your chocolate whiskey cake is cooked completely, remove it from the cake pan and then remove the parchment liner and leave it on a cooling rack to cool completely. And then this next step is totally optional, but I decided I wanted to make it kind of a layered cake with a filling. So I grabbed a serrated knife and cut my cake in half. And then I made a whipped whiskey filling for it. So this involved heavy cream, some powdered sugar, and then the same whiskey that I used in the cake. And then I just beat that on a medium high setting until it forms stiff peaks. And then you could go ahead and put your whipped whiskey filling on both sides of the inside of the cake. And then just for fun, I also went ahead and I grabbed some chocolate chips and just sprinkled those in there too. And then I flip the top half back onto the bottom part of the cake and let that set up in the fridge for about an hour so I had a nice firm surface to work with. But now for the fun part, it's time to decorate. So I went ahead and I cheated and I bought some store-bought frostings. I bought it in a milk chocolate and then a dark chocolate. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to spatula this into my piping bag and I'm gonna put the milk chocolate on one side of the piping bag and the dark chocolate on the other side. I will tell you guys, this is probably the most difficult part of the entire cake process. Um, if I was gonna do it again, I would probably set this piping bag up in like a, a cup or a large bowl so that it was held up for me. But anyway, put it in the piping bag, squish it over to one side. It doesn't need to be perfect it's just helpful oh and by the way you're going to want to use a grass tip for this it's going to give it a really cool fur like texture so from this point on it is just squeezing and piping and squeezing and piping i did mine in kind of short little bursts um, but i also did a couple of long wavy pieces the fun part about chewbacca is that fur does not come from the salon every day so it certainly doesn't need to be perfect as a matter of fact i think the messier the better it looks so just work your way all around the cake not forgetting to do the sides it took me about half of each container of frosting so i had plenty left over be generous and don't worry and just keep working your way around the cake All right, and now for Chewbacca's bandolier, I just chose some Hershey chocolate bars and turned them upside down so the smooth surface was facing up. And then I broke them to a length so that they would fit across kind of the side of the cake. Chewbacca wears the bandolier kind of across himself, so I thought that would be fun. 
And then I melted some white chocolate in the microwave and used that to stick these lint white chocolate pieces onto the bandolier. Uh, I really wanted to capture kind of the studded look that it had, so I alternated two long blocks and two half blocks to get the same look and feel. And there you have it guys, your chocolate whiskey Chewbacca cake is ready to serve. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if so please leave a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button for more videos every week. Thank you guys so much for watching, I heart you, I will see you later, goodbye!